Hey everyone, it's Brian from Strigler Photography. So this is my gigantic 41 ounce bag of Skittles. And you may be wondering why would you have so many Skittles? So uh, it's actually a really cool, interesting thing. So I did some uh, engagement photos for someone and I went to deliver um, their photos. And when I got there, this gigantic bag was there waiting for me. And I was like, man, that's a giant bag of Skittles. It's like, that's for you. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love Skittles. Um, so apparently they had looked at my, uh, my Instagram page and they had noticed that I love Skittles. And so she was cool enough to show up with this gift of Skittles for me. And I'm, hey, Kayla. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I've been eating um, a ton of these. I've had to keep them away from my children. Um, and I love Skittles. So anyway, I say all that um, to connect with what I'm gonna talk to today. So uh, weddings are a big time for giving. I know it's very dangerous. It's like probably a million calories. Anyway, so weddings are a great time to give gifts. Um, and so uh, that can be a complicated thing, but it also can be a really awesome thing. So I'm gonna kinda talk about um, my experience, what people have done with gifts and all that. So first of all, there are a lot of people you could give gifts to. The most common ones um, are going to be your wedding party. So you've got all these, your best friends, relatives, whatever, that are in the wedding. Um, they're probably paying for tuxes, dresses, and they're there for you and they're helping out and they're doing all this stuff. So it's pretty common to get them some kind of gift. Um, it's also really cool when I see um, the bride and groom buy gifts for each other. That's been pretty neat. Um, and then I've also seen gifts for like the parents of the bride or groom. Um, so those are the most common, I would say. And then you have, of course, the like the the guests will get some kind of smaller gifts sometime as well, some kind of favor or whatever you want to say. Um, so those are the most common. Um, then you can also occasionally they'll do stuff for the vendors, like I've gotten gifts before like that or whatever. So those are the most common things uh, or most common people that you would be getting gifts for. Um, so let's talk about what do you get people? And this is gonna vary widely depending on who you are, who your friends are, how much money you have and everything. Um, my biggest suggestion is get people stuff they actually want. Don't get people um, something that you like. Get them stuff that they actually want and can use and is interesting or whatever. Um, so, um, I'm trying to think of some of the cool ones. So, <laughs> at a wedding, I guess it was several months ago, um, the bride and groom got each other gifts. Um, she got some cowboy boots and he got a gun. I know, that was awesome. And he pulled out this gun. He's like, yeah! So... That was them though. They liked that kind of stuff and that's what they got each other and it was very special. Um, I've also seen um, brides get like spe special handkerchiefs with like a message on it for their uh, father or for their mother. And those are both, um, I think that's a really cool thing to do. It gets them really emotional. It can also be used. Um, gifts for guys can be really interesting for the groomsmen. I've um, I think back when I got married a long time ago, we did flasks. Um, I've seen that several times. Um, custom socks, or, like with different designs and stuff on them. So there's a lot of different things you can get people. But like I said, the biggest thing is I would make it um, something they care about, something personal, um, something that's going to, they actually want and not something that's just, they're going to like, oh, and then throw it away. Um, and I think that's, that's the important thing. If you're giving someone a gift... Make sure it's something they want, not something that you're just doing because you have to do it or whatever. Um, make it something awesome for them. <sighs> My arm's getting tired of holding this phone. I'm trying to think if there's anything else um, that I'm forgetting to talk about. Um, and as far as like the cost, I said that will vary depending on who you are and how much money you have. I mean, you could spend like five dollars per person, or you could spend like fifty dollars per person. It'll just kind of depend on what you're wanting to give them and who you are and who they are. Um, but yeah, I mean, weddings are celebrations and you've got special people there. So you want to get them something. You want it to be something they can have and remember and be like really grateful and happy. Um, so 
think about those things. If you have a wedding coming up, um, you might want to jump on that if you haven't already started thinking about it. But anyway, guys, it's another Wednesday. I, hopefully these tips are helping you. Um, I am going to go get ready because I've got more things to do, photos to edit, a photo shoot later, and all this stuff. So anyway, guys, have a great day.